A routine arrest goes horribly wrong and a man seems to die at the hands of the police. The apparent chokehold caught on tape now reverberating across the country. And as mourners gathered at the victim's funeral tonight, the NYPD struggles to address issues fraught with race and public safety. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. This is the dramatic video that has triggered a wave of controversy. A violent confrontation on a New York City street that ends with one man, a black man, dead. And the police accused of using excessive force and even racism. So just how much force is too much for police departments across the country? This happens every day in Detroit, in Chicago, in Los Angeles, you know, in Atlanta. This happens all across areas where there are large populations of people of color and in rural areas. It is ugly, it is mean. We've seen this over and over and over. Mind my business. It all unfolded in a matter of minutes. Two plainclothes police officers confronting 43-year-old Eric Garner for allegedly selling loose cigarettes, a misdemeanor. I'm minding my business, officer. There's a tense standoff as Garner protests. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. Watch as the two officers move in and try to physically arrest him. Garner seems to resist. Don't touch me, please. One of the officers puts his forearm around Garner's neck as other officers join in, and within seconds, the 350-pound man is down. From the ground, Garner cries out. For several long minutes, Garner lays on the ground, not moving. He was saying, stop resisting. He's like, I'm not resisting, I'm not resisting. And then it was, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And then that's it. You see his arm get stiff, and I already knew. Paramedics arrive. One of them is seen on the videotape speaking to Garner. Sir, is anything hurting you right now with EMS? Sir, EMS is here. Answer their questions, okay? But they appear to do nothing. Finally, Garner is placed on a stretcher and taken by ambulance to a local hospital. About an hour later, the father of six children is pronounced dead. It just snatched my heart right out my chest. Like I'm not, I'm an empty shell right now. But I gotta stay strong for my kids. The cause of Garner's death is still unknown. Autopsy results are expected in several weeks. But already this case has taken on racial overtones. I do not believe that a white person would have been treated that way on Staten Island by the police and prompted protests alleging police brutality. Something needs to be done about the races, one, two, all three, six. Nobody should have to die uh, while being arrested. Mr. Gardner's uh, medical condition may have been the cause of it and not the action of the officers. But equally, we, we have to look at the officers' action. It's not just this case in this city. Police actions are coming under scrutiny all around the country, shining a spotlight on the controversial practice of chokeholds, a technique that most big city police departments now ban. A chokehold can cause death. A chokehold can cause uh, suffocation. It's a dangerous maneuver. This cell phone video captures a confrontation between police and a Virginia woman. Petersburg police say officers are trained to use the least amount of force. The woman was convicted of obstructing justice. And then there's this man in San Francisco, already in handcuffs, who appears to be held in a chokehold by this officer. Police maintain it was not a chokehold, but a carotid restraint, which is allowed. Back in New York, this video, also under scrutiny, it shows police appearing to forcibly restrain a man suspected of entering a subway station without paying. Stop resisting. While one officer handcuffs the man, another is seen putting his arm around the suspect's neck. NYPD says the incident is under investigation by the department's Internal Affairs Bureau. Two officers were sent to the hospital. As for the Garner case, some are asking, was he really subjected to a chokehold? It's defined in the department's uh, patrol guide that this would appear to have been uh, a chokehold. But former New York City cop Pat Bonanno looked at the tape 
and he says it was not. I would be uh, really hard pressed to even call that uh, a chokehold technique. Uh, that was more of a restraint technique, a submission technique. Garner had been arrested 31 times. The policeman's union said that sometimes force is necessary. At times when officers are required to make an arrest, they must employ the use of force in order to get compliance. You resist arrest at your peril. Whether you're white, black, or uh, whatever, police going to knock you around if you resist arrest. Though still under investigation, the officer who put his arm around Garner's neck, identified as Daniel Pantaleo, an eight-year veteran, has been reassigned to desk duty pending the case's outcome, his badge and shield taken away. It turns out Pantaleo was the subject of two other lawsuits, one for wrongful arrest, the other for a strip search in broad daylight. The strip search case was settled out of court. The wrongful arrest case is still ongoing. And those four paramedics who responded to the scene and appeared to do nothing, they have been suspended without pay pending further investigation. What should be done as soon as an EMT arrives? Check for responsiveness, open his airway, protecting his cervical spine. Did you see evidence of that? If it happened, it wasn't on the video. Don't touch the the other police officers who took part in Garner's arrest are also facing potential departmental disciplinary charges, and some could potentially even face criminal charges. In response to what happened on Staten Island, Police Commissioner William Bratton has just ordered a massive overhaul of the entire force. There will be uh, a retraining of every member of the New York City Police Department in the weeks, months, and potential years ahead. All 35,000 New York cops to be retrained in arrest procedures and the use of force. Tonight, a funeral service was held for Eric Garner. We have every right to want revenge. We have every right to be disappointed with the system. Hundreds of people turned out to protest. You think we are not going to fight this one? You can get ready for the long haul. We are not won't we'll stop till we get justice. And to mourn, asking how what seemed to be a routine arrest ended up with a man dying. For Nightline, I'm Ron Claiborne in New York.